So tell us a little bit about your journey with plastic surgery okay. and where you've come from to this okay. point. When I was 14 years old, I started a black market hormone therapy. At age 14? Yeah, at 14. Anyways, in the black urban community, the transgenders get silicone pumped in their cheeks, yeah. in their breasts, in their ass. Injecting anything permanent into any part of your body is a bad thing. Injecting silicone destroys the underlying tissue by causing a severe inflammatory response and becomes a chronic problem. So then I learned about facial feminization. I wanted to do it here in America. And when I told the doctors I had silicone in my face, he was like, no. That's when I went to Thailand. And the doctor said, I will saw your cheekbones. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. But that's wow. another dangerous procedure. That's dangerous? Yeah. There are so many good plastic surgeons in this country, and medicine generally is the safest that it can be anywhere in the world. So you should never go outside the United States for any surgical procedure. As the year went on, this right cheek just would not stop. So is it just the right cheek that's bothering you? Just the right You think it's a little bit too big? I think it's too big. When I smile, I think it's just too big. OK, we see that. You see? But I told her, what if you mm. do surgery with the cheeks and you make an even more big problem? You know? That's mm. always our, the consideration we have. Constant injection and modification of our cheeks with silicone. It's dangerous. We always wonder at what cost if we go in there. There's a hole here right through the bone of the skull mm -hmm. where an important sensory nerve comes out. If you bugger up that nerve, mm -hmm. you can't move and you're like, the nerves are dead. Just down. Dead and there's no going back. And you're not right afraid here. to have your cheek operated on you. No, absolutely not.